I can hear all you folks out there now. Wade, how in the world do you make all that 34 and 35 cow ball? That's kind of a wildcat size that you don't normally see out there in the world as far as buckshot moles go. Well, I'm going to show you. Well, the first thing you're going to need is a mold. This one makes 34 caliber. And Marty made this one to make a 35 caliber. All right, let's make some up. Alrighty, we'll get started with the 34 cal. I've already graphite it all up. It's been sitting out here on the 20 pound pot for probably 30 or 45 minutes. Very first pour. These that make the bigger ball, they will heat up rapidly, folks. Rapidly they will heat up. See if I can pull it apart without the, yeah. And we got a full pour. Hot alloy, hot mold. That's what's gonna happen. Let me get me a, get me a knocker. All righty. And like I said, you may only get eight or 10 pours in this thing before you have to let it cool off. I get a couple of buckets. I make up 35 when I'm making two different sizes, like 34 and 35. Set the 34 down while it's cooling, make 35 till it gets too hot, then see, just keep moving that way. Full pour. Like it when they're both sticking the same side. Yeah. Fall out real easy. The bigger pellets are a lot easier to work with. It's just the molds heat up super fast. We're talking only 12 pellets. And a three inch mag load though. Whew. It's already getting hot. I might be gonna have to turn my with the big pellets gonna turn my alloy down to seven. I had it on eight, I'll turn it down to seven. Now it's in the 50s out here today. It's a nice day. Okay. Yeah, give it a second, let it cool. Woo! That gonna lead hitting and splashing up on my arm. The Marty's are so precise and perfectly round, and that helps. with your accuracy, keeping your patterns nice and symmetrical and tight. 
I'm using wheel weight alloy as always. Well, I say as always. Today I'm using wheel weight alloy and water dropping it for a much harder pellet. We'll let the air hit this for a little bit. I can't wait till Lee gets the two two twenty volt pots in. Keeps wanting to hoop it at me. Whew, boy, it got me good on the back of the arm. Got a full pour every time. Just falling out now. When I first started experimenting with uh, with 34 caliber, I picked up a bag of nickel plated 34 cal from um, actually it was listed as double alt. Measured it and it was 34 caliber. These things uh, come out of Italy, come out of France or Italy or wherever they get these pellets like that, and they're basically in metric sizes and they try to rate it as close to English whatever English is closest to. And if it happened to be 34 caliber, uh, metric size that's closer to 34 cal, it's still gonna call it a double alt, which is 33 caliber, technically. But they performed so well for me, I got Marty to make me a 34 cal mold. And it was the same with the, uh, with the 35 caliber. Only 35 cal I could find was uh, Lee and a double uh, ball mold from Lee that uh, that was made for muzzle loaders. Real, it must be a real common size for some uh, for pistol or and or rifle and muzzle loaders. And so I was making two pellets at a time to check the 35 caliber. And holy cow, did that stuff work out good? So I got Marty to make me a 35 cal also. And I'm not going real fast, going at a pretty steady pace to allow the mold to stabilize and cool down a little bit for me. Got a full pour every time. Probably just gonna go on ahead and uh, move on to the 35 caliber so this video don't run so blame long and you fellas can see how it works out. Stand by. All right. Yeah, we're gonna try the 35 caliber triple alt. Probably be able to break it open. Yeah. Well, we got somehow I missed the, the ends right there. That was probably my fault. Probably just didn't hit it right. First pour.
Alrighty. All but one that time. Yeah, you guessed it. Hooping it right at me. Thirty-five cal still big pellets. Same with thirty-four caliber. One pellet would do the trick on a big game animal. Only minus one pellet. And when these big molds start getting hot, your handles may start loosening up on you too. Just take a flathead screwdriver and snug them down. And I'm just going to keep making a bunch of them. Just going back with sprue today. I don't think I have any wheel weight billets left. and it'll take it a few minutes to warm back up. And so, we'll give it a few minutes to warm back up. Thirty-four caliber. Come out looking like a dream. They're ready to lose. Check on the thirty-five caliber next. Huh? Yeah, the 30, 35 caliber. Look outstanding as well. Ready to lose. Appreciate you riding along with me, folks. Uh, if you uh, if you need a 34 or 35 cal mold or you need any kind of buckshot mold, click on the link below in the description for Marty's Arms and you'll get a 10% discount under the BRO discount code.
We'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.